once you start using organic solvents, there's a different kind of cleaning that needs to take place. You will be using microscale glassware, and so you'll typically have a vial that is in need of cleaning. Um, one, the first thing that I need to say is that nothing organic goes down the sink. If it's an organic solvent, it will end up in one of these two waste containers, halogenated waste or non-halogenated. So if it's dichloromethane or anything with a halogen, goes in here. Most things are non-halogenated, they'll go into this waste container. Use acetone. Now, acetone is a reasonably good organic solvent. Its big plus is that it's miscible with water. So if you've got a dirty flask, vial, excuse me, first thing to do, just rinse it out a couple of times with acetone. And this goes into the non-halogenated waste, because there's no halogens, and pour it in. Again, make sure that you don't get above the shoulder of the bottle. Don't overfill. If you need a clean bottle, a fresh bottle, just ask us and we'll provide one. Once you hook, and the acetone stays here, it doesn't go with you to the sink. Once you've got this rinsed out with acetone, we'll wash it out with soap and water at the sink. Again, once you have glassware that has had the organic guck washed out using acetone, then again, wash it out with soap and water and a bottle brush. Now, that one was a bit large, so you may need to use a smaller bottle brush for the smaller glassware, and again, use the dishwashing liquid. Pour the soapy water away, rinse until the foam has stopped, and again, rinse with distilled water. And this can go and sit in your micro kit until next week when it's, you can dry it. If you need it right now, then dry it off with a paper towel like that, and you could maybe try rinsing it with acetone if you need it dry particularly, but just cr rolling up a paper towel and drying the inside will also work. Once you have got your glassware clean, and again, by now you realize that you need to be doing dishes uh, throughout the lab, not just at quarter to five, we'll go to your lab station and look at what needs to be cleared up there. And here's your fume hood after you've finished your experimental work. There's all sorts of stuff that you will need to put away. Some of it is yours, some of it goes onto the bench, and some of it go is returned to your TA. You will need to take any condensers out of their clamp and disconnect, push the appropriate buttons here, come on, and the condenser lives in its own box, like this, put the lid on it, and this gets returned to your TA. These water circulation adapters push towards the wall, they come off, and then are returned into the locker. Now, these items are all ready to go, and so does this down here. Now, do be careful, the aluminum may be hot, so don't just grab it with your hands. You may end up burning things like gloves and fingers. The hot plate itself needs to be unplugged and returned to the drawer underneath and close up. These beakers are yours and you should have washed them. Likewise, this suction filtration apparatus is, belongs to you. Wash it off or if it's getting rather late, you can just put it away dirty into your locker. This three-fingered clamp does not belong to you, neither do the bosses. So you remove these, and again, these live down here in the drawer. If you have managed to get guck into the trap, then you need to wash it out. Most often this won't be the case, but if this 
trap is dirty, if you've left chemicals in there, it's your job to wash it out before the end of the lab. Let's move, oh, let's move over to the bench here. Once you have finished cleaning up your glassware, it goes back into your kit. Some pieces of glassware will be returned to your locker. Likewise, Buchner flask and Hirsch funnel. If you haven't cleaned it off, it's five to five, just put it away dirty. Likewise, close up your kit, make sure it's all there. And then this actually is yours for the term, it lives in your locker, close it up. And then you may have some organic compounds on here, so use acetone, squirt it down, and use paper towels again to make sure that your bench is clean. And you may also have dirt on the floor of the fume hood, so you'll need to clean that up as well. At this point, you should be calling your TA and asking the, the TA to check things out and let you go. Don't forget that you need also to turn off any airflow, any vacuum flow. And once your TA says it's okay to go, you can do that. So don't forget to lock your locker, close it, and make sure you twirl the dial so the combination lock is locked. Otherwise, other people may come along and decide to adopt your Erlenmeyer flasks. And that's how you do cleanup after an organic lab.